Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Wednesday and I don't actually have class today. So I have classes Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. So Wednesdays are my day to not have to actually like attend class, but I do get a lot done for school on Wednesdays. So I will be very productive today. But Chad just got home and we're making pancakes for breakfast. Flapjacks. My grandmom calls pancakes like when I was little and she'd always make me pancakes. She calls them hotcakes. Have you yeah. heard anyone call them that before? McDonald's. Oh my gosh. Okay, she did not call it hotcakes because of McDonald's. I think it's just like an old person thing. But she always would say like, you want hotcakes for breakfast? And I'm I'd sure be like, she didn't get it from McDonald's, um, but that was the only place I've ever heard of hotcakes. I'm like, yes, I want hotcakes. Pancakes, flapjacks, if you will. We use Kodiak cakes. Um, these are the buttermilk ones. They're really good. And they have like extra protein, 14 grams. They also have chocolate chip. Yeah, they have other flavors. Just finished editing yesterday's vlog and I'm so proud of myself. I have been like really on top of the editing game lately. Just push these vlogs out as quickly as I film them instead of just waiting on them. And you guys seem to really enjoy the productivity. So I shared like packaging up Poshmark orders and all that stuff in this one. We are uploading right now. Going to fill up the diffuser. I switched this one out with the one that I did have in the living room. I like this one a little bit better and this one is available on Amazon. I'll link it for you guys. My favorite essential oil, but I've talked about this enough times. So good for studying it literally like just sets the whole mood it's so funny how my camera makes it look like it's blinking let it cycle through until i get to the desired color i think i'm gonna make it purple i like purple it actually looks completely different on camera than it does in real life like you can't see through it I did like three hours of chemistry, had a nice little nap. There is something so peaceful about taking a nap. Chad, I swear to God, <laughs> he's making fun of me right now. On the couch, in the middle of the day, in this living room, with the light coming through the windows. So I just spent the last hour working on mastering chemistry homework to go through this um, practice exam for my first Chem 2 exam. And I'm having a banana for a snack and an orange because Chad and I didn't get any like chips or anything this week. So I'm forced to eat healthy snacks. I guess that's a good thing. So we are making baked ziti for dinner tonight. I've actually never made this before, but hopefully it will be good. And I'll let you guys know how it turns out. But here's the ingredients. I'm about to start cooking the beef. Um, we just got some lean ground beef here. And we decided to do red lentil penne instead of like actual ziti noodles because they didn't have it in red lentil. And I really like the red lentil ones because the only ingredient is lentil. So there's a lot healthier for you. <laughs> Step one is to chop up one whole onion and just brown it with a little bit of olive oil. And Chad is adding in the ground beef now. We're just gonna cook all of that together. And then you lightly boil a pot of water and add in your pasta. And this is obviously, like I said, supposed to be baked ziti. So you can use ziti if you want, but we really like this red lentil penne if you want a little bit of a healthier option. And we're just gonna cook this as it says on the directions. So once the meat and the onion is cooked through, you're gonna add two jars of sauce. So we are using the farm to fork tomato basil sauce. It's like my favorite pasta sauce ever. I'm gonna stir this in and then we're gonna let it simmer for 15 minutes. <laughs> Good job, Chad. <laughs> About to make this vlog go live. This is yesterday's vlog. We are live. Okay, the next step is to layer this so we're basically layering it as if it was like lasagna or something so you start out with the ziti and then or the penne in our case 
and then you do a layer of that about half of it then it says layer it with provolone cheese sour cream and it does call for one and a half cups of sour cream but we're gonna half that just because we don't want it to be super heavy on the sour cream and then you do half of the sauce mixture and then you repeat that Then you put it in the oven for 30 minutes. Here's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. <laughs> so I just changed into a black t-shirt because Chad and I are about to tie-dye some more sweatshirts and I posted a picture yesterday in my purple sweatshirt. Here's what it looks like. It's so pretty. It turned out amazing. and I got so many people asking me to show how I did it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I actually have a few more here so we're gonna tie dye these babies so we're doing this outside on our back deck just to keep from getting dye anywhere i just laid this tarp down just as like a little backup to make sure we don't get it on the table but all you need is the shirts that you're dyeing and you need some saran wrap and then obviously the dye some gloves most of these come with gloves but i prefer to use like nicer ones and then some plastic bags to put it in whenever you're done we're using our hose because we're outside Then you're gonna take your plastic wrap and just make a little surface to do the tie dyeing on. I'm really frustrated right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing the crinkle method. That's just the way that my other one turned out. I really liked how it looked. So you literally just scrunch it up like this. Just making it crinkly. Very random, like you can't mess it up. Like in the bottom, you're like halfway up, start scrunching this. So then put your gloves on because now we are about to start tie dyeing. Okay, so fill up the thing according to what it says and all of the dye is sitting at the bottom so you have to shake it up real good. I'm going to make this one a nice hot pink color. And this is by the Tulip brand, by the way. It's like the most common tie dye brand. So you're just going to do it like this. Back and forth, like crisscross design. Just kind of random like that. And then we're gonna flip it over and then do the exact same thing on the other side. Then you're gonna carefully fold this up. If you do it in your bathtub or something, you'll probably have better luck without the wind blowing it away. But it's okay, cause I'm gonna put it in a plastic bag anyway. Take your grocery bag and stick it in the grocery bag. Oh God. Whatever. And that's it for that one. Okay, we just decided to move inside because it was really, really tough to do this out there with the wind. So it'd be a lot easier in here. So again, I am just measuring out some of this plastic wrap. And this time I'm gonna do the t-shirt. So it's obviously a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna only end up using about half of the dye for this one. Fill up the little squirt bottle with your dye and then shake it up. Oh, and now we will start dying. I'm gonna save the second half of this for the hoodie that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix it like a dark blue with the like turquoise blue. Um, so that's it for this one. So then you just wrap it up. See how much better it just like sticks and stays still in here. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 
So I'm just gonna put these three bags in the bathtub. That's what I did last time. Just like a safe place for them to sit. And technically it's six to eight hours, but last time I let mine sit for like 20 hours and that made the color look really, really like defined and like bright. So I would suggest letting it sit for longer. That's what I'm gonna do. I will update you guys whenever I wash them. it is the next day obviously and I had a nice hot shower this morning with my coffee you guys know shower coffee is my favorite I love taking a shower in the morning and just having my cup of coffee in there with me if you haven't tried it you should totally try that I'm drinking my water I will link this water bottle again I always get questions every single time I show it in my videos but it's like a water tracker water bottle that's from Amazon I'm obsessed with it ever since I bought this I swear to you guys I drink more water like it's just amazing what having this sitting here will do for me and plus I think it just helps like seeing visibly how much water I've drank like it makes me want to drink more because I'm like oh wow like look how much I've drank so far today but anyways today's Thursday so I do have my two and a half hour lecture right now it's almost 10 a.m. so I'm actually gonna work on finishing up my lab experiment and submitting that and then I'm gonna preview the PowerPoint slides before lecture here's what my lab experiment looks like we didn't have to do these ones he like crossed it out but I did all of this here's my work for a bunch of that and then I also did this table, but I have to do three, four, and five. And then I think I have to do some graphing in Excel. And then I'm finished with this one, so I just need to submit it. Guys, it is way later, literally almost five o'clock now. I spent basically the entire day in front of my computer, so Chad and I are about to go and get a garage workout on. I'm wearing the Lululemon Energy Bra, my Align leggings in this cool little print. I don't even know if this print is available anymore, but these are the 25 inch ones and then my Adidas Cloud Foam sneakers. Here's today's garage workout. We're doing 10 rounds of these things. I don't know, Chad just came up with this. So five dumbbell clean presses. So you like start going all the way up and then you bring it down to the ground and come back up. And then 10 dumbbell step ups. We're gonna be stepping up onto this chair. And these are alternating. And then uh, five to 15 push ups. Chad's definitely gonna do 15. I'm just trying to get like above five um, because I'm really bad at push ups and it's something that I need to work on. And then the double unders, Chad's gonna be doing those with his jump rope and then I'm gonna be doing jumping jacks. So we just finished our workout and it's now 5.49. So I'm actually about to rinse out the tie dye stuff from yesterday and I'll show you guys how I do that. So we just put this tarp that we used from yesterday outside in our grass and it's kind of on like a slope in our yard. So that way as we're rinsing it, it just flows downward and I'm just gonna take the tie-dye stuff out of the bags and lay it out on here and we're going to use the hose to rinse it out and it's really important that you rinse it very thoroughly and try to get most of the dye out <laughs>
the next step is to wash it and you want to wash them all individually so that way the dyes don't leak into one another so carefully get it into your washer without touching it with your hands or anything because obviously it is dye and you're going to want to make sure that you wash it with hot water that's like the most important thing to keep the colors add a little bit of regular detergent i'm going to do quick wash just because it's only one thing in there and then you just want to make sure the temperature is on hot the first tie-dye sweatshirt just came out of the dryer so here's what it looks like you just dry it in the dryer like normal i don't think i filmed that part but here is the outcome if you do it exactly how i showed you guys we just finished eating dinner and I immediately was craving something sweet as I do and Chad and I did not buy any sweets this week which is good because it forces me to eat a healthy snack so I'm having apples and peanut butter and this just looks amazing. Wanted to show you guys how the blue one turned out. I love this one so much. I think it looks really good with the two different colors. I did like that dark navy one and then like the turquoise color so it looks awesome and then here's the pink one that I already showed you guys and then the purple one that I did before. So these are so pretty follow me on poshmark because i'm probably going to sell some of these i'm definitely not going to keep them all for myself i have a lot of fun making them 